Hello, I'm Jim Brown with some video taken in January 2006, a very rough cut first edit of some wonderful footage taken in the company of Woody Brown, who we have identified as the originator, progenitor of the modern seafaring multi-hull. This is all part of our outrig project, renamed formerly the Vaca project, now the outrig project, our efforts to preserve the history of the modern multi-hull. This footage is copyrighted by James W. Brown, 2006, all rights reserved. We're hoping to say thanks with this to the people that helped us put the whole shindig together. And this is Woody Brown at age 94, hale and hearty. Together with his old friend, Barry Choi. Barry is the son of Rudy Choi. And Barry was absolutely great with Woody. Woody is a little unsteady on his feet, but Barry got him down across the beach. Barry's father, Rudy Choi, had been friends with Woody since the 1940s. But in the 1950s, he went on to produce the first real multi-hull yachts. It's a great shame that Rudy, who is still living but is indisposed, was in unable to be here for this occasion. <laughs> this is Phil Carr with Woody. Yeah, well, that's the old, that's a monokai, the one that uh, her best had. Yeah, that's what I like. And told. then yeah. Phil is the owner of this sister ship to the original monokai, designed and built by Woody and launched in 1947 originally intended for carrying tourists on joy rides from Waikiki. When I rode on this one, you know, we went out. Uh, the guy owned it. I think the different guy is so Yeah. Okay. We're out there, and I'm looking, and he's got the sheet tied down, see? I told him, hey, hey, you can't do that. You've got to hold it, the crew. No, 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 no. Well, that's why I flipped over. Yeah, we hit a gust of wind, and over and right. <laughs> I know, we're going out right now. Yeah. You want to fly a hull? No, no, we can't. <laughs> we were extremely fortunate to have two sister ships available on this day. Uh, my name's Tom Warren, and I'm proud to be a Woody Brown owner <laughs> for 30 years now, if you think about it. I tell people it's like having an old Stearman or a DC-3, you know. Yeah. It's, it's 1947 still. Yeah. Still goes. It sure does. Here's Tom's boat loping along. She is named Kamehameha for the great Hawaiian king, and she carries the king emblem on the sail. So Woody climbed into a dinghy at age 94, and we got him out over the surf to the Manukai, where he climbed aboard with a great deal of agility, we thought. We were very fortunate to have two boats, two sister ships available for this occasion. One to carry Woody, and the other to serve as a camera platform. Does it bring back memories? What? I does, can't hear you. Does it bring back memories? Oh, yeah, sure, of course. Yeah. See, I made the deck streamlined, too. See how the, right here, the, the deck is a nice curve, so there was no windage as well as fast in the water. Well, but you gotta fight the wind when you go to wind wind. Yep. So I made it streamlined, you know. He sure did. Really, look at the shape of these things. Very lean, narrow hulls, high underwing clearance, absolute minimum projected frontal area on the superstructure. For being designed 60 years ago, they're absolutely incredible, including the structure, modern wooden aircraft structure. We can learn from them today. Well, I used to love to race everybody, give the tourists a thrill, you know. So there was destroyer out of Diamond Head, and we just have to come together out there, see. 
so, you know me, uh, oh, well, let's race with him, yeah? So we're racing with him, and I pass him! Are you like that? And when I pass him, pass I look, off. all of a sudden, a big wink came out behind his boat. He poured on the coal. He wasn't about to see me going by him, yeah? I went by him anyway. <laughs> He's gone, Big Daddy. Okay, it's time to take Woody for a ride. Actually, the rigs and sail plans on these boats are very simple and inexpensive relative to today's racing sails, but they're very efficient. We've got Scott Brown behind the camera for this caper, and he manages to shoot from both boats on the afternoon. Incidentally, Jim Brown and Woody Brown and Scott Brown are not related but we're all glad to be heading out into the wind with Kamehameha pacing us alongside. <laughs> Captain Phil decides that it's time to jibe. Barry wants to help Woody change sides, but Woody doesn't need any help. But now he's going to tell us how it's done. Hey, son, you know, you wait till you catch a big wave, and then driving is easy, see? It's not big enough today. The surf went down. Yeah, small in a way. We were out here yesterday. So we finally went out beyond the wind line and got plenty of wind and surf. And the boats started catching waves. This is how it looked from over on. So these boats just lope along at speeds in the mid-teens when the wind is blowing 20 to 25, but then when the gusts come, the guys are driving them pretty hard, and Woody knows it. Now I'm going, you're all going swimming, huh? Oh, Woody, I got my face! Woody? <laughs> now Scott Brown has climbed aboard the Kamehameha to shoot back at the Manu Ka We're driving hard here in the gusts coming down off of the Maui Mountains. This is playing in the Willowas. Captain Phil catches a gust and just takes off. I got to see that again. Go, go. 
How's that for a shot of your boat, Phil? Designed 60 years ago. In fact, I'd like to throw in a few stills here, still frames from this wonderful day. Things were happening so fast. Here's one of you, Tom. All right, Phil, so how was that? Good sail. And on any regards, that was as good a sail as you can get out here. You notice the wind's all back down. In the middle of the day, 132, you get your best wind, and then it starts backing down, and then it just gets flatter by about four, and then you've got some real nice inside sailing with 20 knots of wind, but that was at 30 to 35 knots of wind on the gusts. It was excellent. As good as it gets out here. Is that your first time sailing with Queen? First time. Well, a lot of water has run out beyond the transoms of these multi-hulls over the last 60 years, and we were sure glad to have a look at how it all got started and to get Woody Brown out upon the waters of Hawaii one more time. And we're very grateful to you, Tom and Phil and Barry, for helping us make it all happen. But the guy we're really grateful to, and Tom said it best. Thank you, Woody. 